So the continuous random variable x has the following PDF. Now, for part A and B, they want us to firstly sketch this graph and then find the value of k, which is, as you can see, is multiplied to everything. And one thing to note, when you look at all this equation, we need to see that all of these are just examples of straight lines, okay? And sometimes the k can be kind of annoying. So what I personally do, I would rewrite all of this as fx equals k times and then everything else, x minus 2, and then that's just going to be 1 and 6 minus x. And that's it, and they all have the, you know, the same ranges. So that's the basic bit. Now, what do we do from here? So to sketch this, well, let's just go ahead and sketch it from what they want from the intervals. So get your x, y graph out, and just plot a couple points. Just plot up to, on the x-axis, from 1, from 0, all the way to 6. So this could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And just be very careful when you see the, um, the ranges, because this is where we want them to be. So let's see. So according to this one, we want x minus 2. So let's just label this out. So we want firstly from 2 to 3. Now what do we have? We can say when x equals 2, we get 0. So it should be on the line. Let me change the red actually. When we get x equals 3, it should be 3 take away 2, which is 1. So technically it will be up here. Let's just say 1 for the sake of it will be k. So in other words, we get 1 times k, which is k. Now let, moving on, so yeah, this is a straight line connecting. So now we're going to move on to 3 to 5. And this appears to be a straight line of 1 or k. So this is just a straight line going all the way to 5. So that's quite easy. Now let's have a look at the last one. So this is 6 minus x. So we can say when x is 5, we get 6 minus 5, which is 1. So 1 times k is k. So that's fine. It's so the same place. When you put 6, you get 0. And that's it, guys. That's literally it. You literally get a shape of a trapezium. Now, <laughs> yeah, a lot easier than it looks. Now, for part B, show that the value k is a third. One thing to know about these kind of shapes is that the area underneath, underneath the, the curve or the line is always going to have a total area of 1. So just look at the shape. This is just a nice little trapezium. And it's got firstly a width, so it's up to 6, 2 to 6, so it's got a width of exactly 4 across. And another width at the top of 2. And yeah, and it's got a vertical height of k. And we know straight away that the area equals 1. So using the area of a trapezium, which is actually half a plus b, so the average of these two lengths times the vertical height, this will give us the area, and the area is 1. So go ahead, so go ahead guys, just literally smashing the values. So we have firstly half, and then inside we have 2 plus 4, so it'll be half times 2 plus 4. And the height is k, and it must equal 1. And well, smashing this in your calculator, you get 6 over here. Half of 6 is 3, so 3k, and hence k must be a third. And that's it, guys. A and B has been solved.